it's, it's showing that you're not just going to church, going to work, Lord, with my mate, going to church, going to work, Lord, with my mate, going to, you have a life. <laughs> you interact with other people. So that's a blessing. Do what you love. And this is one thing. I have a monthly newsletter, and I don't know if that sheet is still going around. I want to collect your emails because once a month I send a newsletter called The Single Heart. And one of them, it was talking about what to do now, and I mentioned how you want to do what you love as much as you can. I love writing. I love music. I write songs. I write books. So if there's a concert in my favorite artist, I'm there. I'm all there because it's what I love to do. Or you can love being around your family, nieces, nephews, or friends. Do that often in between praying in the morning. You know, you want to have a life as a single because God made us to be on earth interdependent upon each other. He doesn't want us on the island. Because what they say, the island on the island, the devil's mind is what they say, what they're saying. Island, 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 island. Island. Yes, yes, yes. So we want to definitely have that going on. And so the scripture I have for that is John 10.10. 10. And it says, um, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, kill, and destroy. We're talking about the enemy, the thief. But then it says, but I am come that they might have life and that more abundantly. And that word abundantly in the Amplified Bible, it means to the full. So you can have a full and complete life now as a single without a mate. Because mm -hmm. God wants us, he came, he sent Jesus, not just for our salvation, but so that our joy might be full. No matter where we are, because even Paul said, I've learned in all things, whether I had money or whether I'm broke, in all things I've learned to be content. Philippians 4.11. So as a single, it teaches us that we have to learn. It's not automatic, because if we left it up to just automatic, the enemy would just have a playground with our mind. You have to learn to be content. Content meaning satisfied. I'm say I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied. Right, now, right now as a single believer. And I say it to convince me I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Right now, right now as a single believer. As a single believer. And I say it to convince God I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Right now, right now as a single, as a single believer. believer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that's number one. <laughs> Number two, we talked about, and praise God, we talked about, pray about, discover your purpose. Uh, uh, pursue it now. I encourage you on this cruise, if you don't know why you're here, if you don't know your purpose, pray on the cruise in the morning. We got all the time in the world. We got eight hours on all these islands. Pray. Pray about I mean, I would encourage even before you start getting into a serious relationship because you want to know, like let's say the man, like let's say Blake. A man presents himself to you and he kind of knows his purpose. You want to have compatible purposes. You want to make sure you fit and you want to know how you can help that man. If you called me to help me, you got to know how you can help. And if he's called to go to Africa and you don't like it, then you might not be his wife and that's okay. Y'all can be friends. Or, you know, you kind of have to make sure you're compatible, not just saved. But compatible with your calling, you know, because like I said, it's all about God's ultimate purpose. He talks about one putting a thousand in flight, two putting ten thousand in flight. You don't want friction because you have this, you want to do this, this is your dream. Find out if you're dating right now, if you're seriously dating, find out each other's dream. If his dream is to have children, do you hate kids? <laughs> and you don't plan on giving that man no baby? Then you're not his wife. So let him find his wife, and you find your, well, you be fine. <laughs> because if, if, if you want to, the word talks about do unto others as you will have them do unto you. If you know how you are, don't present yourself fake to somebody because you're trying to get the ring. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Yeah. If you have, like, I have a bubbly, wild personality. I can be a little emotional at times. And people are like, Lord, just stop. I need to just kind of hold back. And it's like, no. He needs to see you in all the different seasons. You know, I, I read somewhere, it was like, date someone long enough so you can see them in all the different seasons of their life. You know, see them when they're mad, how they respond. See them when they're 
have a big decision to make. See them, you want to know the person and know if this is someone I can live with. Because marriage is really about being able to, number one, being friends first as a foundation and being able to get along with each other. You have to be able, I mean, even when they get on your nerves, look at our family. We can't throw our family away. Well, how many know we get married? That's a part of your family. 